Yo, what's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today we're talking about Grant KGD Dawson versus Rafa Garcia. Grant Dawson, 21 wins, two losses, one draw. He's 4-1 and one in his last five fights. The one loss, as we know, obviously, is 11 months ago, Bobby Green. Minus 400 favorite, 30 years old, 5'10 with a 72-inch reach. Rafa Garcia, who's 16-3, and 4-1 and one in his last five fights. The one loss is against Jakar Close, just out-wrestled him. Plus 300 underdog at 5'7 with a 70-inch reach, also 30 years old. 3-inch in height for Dawson with a 2-inch reach advantage as well. We already know what Dawson's going to do. Good movement, decent striking, great control with his takedowns. The issue I have a little bit with this fight, matchup-wise for Dawson, is Garcia just fought uh, Close two years ago. And I, I, I would assume Close is a stronger fighter. I don't think he, his grappling is as good as Dawson's, but he's definitely strong for sure. Um, and he, you know, he's had two wins in a row. Lot, beat Clay Guida, which okay, Mahasha uh, uh, Hazer beat them both by decision. <clears throat> the thing with when Rafa lost to Jakar Close, he just overwhelmed them. You know, and against the cage, I think is where Grant Dawson is very, very good. And when he gets you down, it's it's a big, big issue. Rafa Garcia has some sneaky good hands. So I would uh, I would suspect Grant Dawson to use a lot of movement, use a lot of feints, you know, jab, some combinations to get himself in because he can't just dive in on his legs like he did in his last fight against Joe Selecki, who I thought they were going to have some very good exchanges on the ground. It did not happen. Grant Dawson has to be careful of the power from Rafa Garcia. I know it hasn't necessarily translated. He only has one TKO win. Um, he has nine finishes out of the 16 wins, but he has three decisions in the UFC. He's four and three in the UFC. He has six decisions total, and he's 50-50 on them. So, um, yeah, like I said, Chris uh, uh, Nasser Haperes got tired in the back half of that fight. Chris Gutzmacher started that fight off incredibly well. Hurt him really bad and then just got tired and ran out of gas. Fighting Jakar Close, Close just overwhelmed him with his grappling. So I suspect somewhat of a same type of game plan in a, in a different version of it, but the same type of game plan from Grant Dawson. I have him winning. Four to one favorite for Dawson seems a little crazy to me. It, it should be like a little bit more than a pick'em, probably like 200, like two to one. Sure, four to one seems kind of nuts, but as always, subscribe, like, comment, and let me know you're picking. Peace.